one on one. Everybody get their bell checks? Did you take it? I did. Feels good inside. My, my name is Matt Ward. I am your host this evening. I'm going to give you the guidelines and some tips on how to be a better human being. Number, yes, sir. No. Tip number one, shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, my number is 910-409-1262. Text it to me. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to auction off two seats? How about for free to whoever has the balls to sit there? Is there any uh, lovely ladies that would like to sit right here? All right. All right, we'll just cut that off right now. No more hands. I don't give a fuck. Oh, by the way, the gentleman that flipped me off earlier, uh, you don't hate him. It's okay. He's my friend. And that's what friends do to each other. So I want you all, now that we're friends, to flip me off. All right, ready? Do it. That's right. You guy. Fuck you, host guy that's trying to read bulls. Don't do video. You can do video of me, but it's gonna get you two views. That's what's gonna happen when you do that. But don't don't be the don't be that guy. Uh, and uh, try not to be flash photographer. I think that's a word. Photographer. Don't do that. No shitting on the floor. No shitting on the floor. We had a problem with that last time. Almost lost the venue, guys. Thanks a lot. I mean, really, there's four bathrooms back there. Shit in your pants first. Not on the floor. What are we, monkeys? Come on. Other than that, I want you guys to have a good time and drink your faces off. Does that sound fun? Guys, I wonder... If cheerleaders at a deaf high school just stomp the shit out of the yard. <laughs> it's at Waffle House one time and these two girls were fighting like they tend to do at Waffle House. And they said what I've heard so many girls say that means a fight's about to happen. You don't know me! Right? You've heard this many times. Whenever you hear a girl say, you don't know me, that means that the people that do know her also want to fight her. That's what that means. I think that the manliest thing ever would be to drink wild turkey while hunting wild turkeys. With a knife. Least manly thing ever, drinking Grey Goose, period. Drinking Grey Goose right now, you pathetic faggot. <laughs> Guys, if you're going to host a glory hole at your house, <laughs> take down the pictures of your family. It makes it hard to come. So I've been told by the people that came to my glory hole. I think eventually I'll kill myself, and don't get bummed out, because I think I'm going to be creative, as I think our group would be. I'm going to do it with a tornado. I'm going to become like one of those quasi-storm chasers with no scientific knowledge that just like stalks storm chasers, chasing around the van in my Honda Odyssey. No equipment whatsoever, just a smartphone and bad ideas. And then when I see the tornado, that F5, that they finally freak out and run away from, I'm going to drive right up to it. I'm going to screech to a halt, get out of my car, and then right before it sucks me up into the plume, I'm going to shoot myself in the head. <laughs> they find me like two days later. Oh, this is tragic. This is the eighth death by the... What the fuck? He shot in the head. Ding, ding, ding. Next thing I know, I'm famous. Discovery ID is doing a program about me. I, could, uh, I think I could one-up that, though. Here's what I'll do. Right before the tornado sucks me up, I'll just throw up the Chinese throwing stars. <laughs> I'll look like a fucking piñata when they get to me. A Christmas ornament. Be like, oh, this is the seventh death from this Oh my god, is that a Chinese throwing star? Was there a ninja attack right before the tornado? Does anybody remember ninjas? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that 
that is the way you express that, in fact. Fuck this laughter thing, that's trendy. What do I do? I force myself to fart. That shows my approval. If it starts smelling like Taco Bell or Crystal up here, then I'm not doing well. If there's any single guys in the crowd, I have some amazing advice for you. Dana Girl has recently become addicted to Crystal Meth. Just recently, like two months, that's the sweet spot. Because in two months of Crystal Meth addiction, she's starting to thin out and looking good, right? Her teeth haven't started to rot out yet, and she still fucks like she's at Bonnaroo. I, uh, I have uh, a few meager possessions, but you know, I don't want to put my money in banks, and I don't want to put my money in a safe at my house. Guys, if you do have money that you want to put in a safe, or jewelry you want to put in a safe, don't do that. When criminals break in, they're going to look for the safe. So what I do is I buy a large black dildo. Which are very expensive, so I learned but half the price of a safe. Hollow out the dildo and stuff all my belongings up in the dildo. And then just leave it wherever. I don't even have to hide it. Because criminals are breaking into your house looking for that safe, but when they break in, they're not gonna go rifling through your dildo. They're not. And if they do, they deserve whatever they find. Best finders keepers for reals. One of my friends said, that's racist. Why has it got to be a black, big black dildo? Well, let's be honest. If it was a little white dildo, they'd probably get thrown away. That's not useful at all. They'd just be like, okay, get rid of that. And your fortune. And that means $14. And a rookie baseball card for some random baseball player that I thought would be valuable one day. Guys, uh, we all drinking? We're having a good time? Yeah. Woo! Doug asked when the sun is going to go down, so... You guys got to get shit faced, so it seems like the sun's yeah, down right the fuck now. Does that sound good? <laughs> these seats, guys, these are two gorgeous seats. Remember, this is not a fucking Gallagher show. It's right in the front row. <laughs> I'm not gonna put a condom full of semen in the front and hit it with a mallet and then be like, wah, wah, wah. I'm not gonna do that. We should do that. We should make sure it's someone who hasn't come in a really ta long time so it stinks and it's yellow. That's what we should do. You know what I'm talking about. Bam. I think drugs are a real problem in our country. Drugs are killing our kids, guys. Especially the Plan B pill. <laughs> At least that's what's killed all my kids up till now. Turns out 99% effective as my boy approaches his one year birthday. <laughs> but they, why would you name that? Why would you allow the nickname of your abortion pill to be the Plan B pill? Like, how fucking insensitive is that? Like, Plan A is to go get laid, right? Yeah, that's what we got that. And apparently, according to this pharmaceutical company, plan B is to kill it if you do. Okay, if you get her pregnant, take care of that shit. That should be the plan Z pill. Plan B is to lead her from Facebook and block her, right? Plan C is to block her through text messaging. And there's all kinds of other steps before you get to kill the baby. Unless that's just your sport where you're in China. <laughs> All right, guys. Please welcome your next comedian to the stage, Mr. Carlos Valencia. Yeah.